Ladies and gentlemen, Charles Barkley! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I'm an athlete. And athletes been speaking out a lot this year. They've been kneeling during the anthem, refusing to go to the White House. But a lot of professional athletes are worried about speaking out and might hurt their career. Well, here's something that contradicts all of that. Me. <laughs> I've been saying whatever the hell I want for 30 years. <laughs> and I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm hosting SNL for the fourth time. For <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> Brother than Lauren Michael just wanted somebody to talk to about Black Panther. <laughs> but this country has had a great tradition of athletes speaking their mind. Muhammad Ali changed the way people thought about Vietnam. Jim Brown had people thinking about race. Michael Jordan even thought it was okay for humans to play with Looney Tunes. <laughs> well, some folks still think we're all spoiled millionaires. But athletes work hard. I'm successful because I have a great work ethic. I'm responsible, and when I was born, I was three feet tall and weighed 26 pounds. <laughs> but some people don't want to hear from professional athletes, like this lady on Fox News who told LeBron James to shut up and dribble. And dribbling's, dribbling's like LeBron's only fourth thing he's good at. <laughs> Shooting, passing, and magically making his hairline come back. <laughs> but the media does this stuff all the time. I went to President Obama's 50th birthday party. They got video of me and Jay-Z, Steve Harvey, and Grant Hill at the party, and Fox News called it the hip-hop barbecue. <laughs> First of all, we were the only four black people there, and three of us ain't even in hip-hop. <laughs> so call it a hip-hop barbecue is like go any tar tournament Tiger plays in, Def Golf Jam. <laughs> Look, I got a message for people complaining about athletes. We can do a lot more than dribble. I'm a broadcaster, I wrote a book, I even got my own wine. That's true. It's called CB Vineyards. It's the only Chardonnay that pairs great with a sausage biscuit. <laughs> right. You know what? But at the end of the day, athletes are the only ones speaking out in their communities. Hey, whoa, 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 Charles, what about comedians? <laughs> you speak out all the time. I look at you, Michael. Nobody takes you seriously. <laughs> well, tell that to the people who call me a racist just for telling jokes. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, they do make a good point. People should be able to disagree. For example, I'm proud to stand for the anthem. Unless Fergie's singing it, and I just fall over laughing, because it's hilarious. And I stay seated for the anthem, because I'm still in my Uber, because black people are always late. That's not true. I told you I'm a racist. Hey, I might not agree with that, but you can say it and still have a career. And all you other athletes out there, you can too. So LeBron, keep on dribbling, and don't ever shut up. And maybe one day, you can host SNL for a full time just like me. Oh, man. Shut up. Hey, so buckle up. It's going to be a real hip hop barbecue in here tonight. <laughs> we, we got a great show. Migos is here, so stick around. We'll be right back.